1791, just three years before this post was built, the United States Army went to war against a Native American Confederation in modern day Indiana and Illinois. And they suffered a terrible defeat at the Battle of the Wabash. And in that defeat, the United States Army suffered 50% casualties. The entire United States Army. That is the worst military defeat in the, U in the history of the United States. And immediately they decided we have to fix this and we have to fix it now. And so the following year, the Army was handed over to a Revolutionary War veteran named General Mad Anthony Wayne, who in turn turned the United States Army into the Legion of the United States, separated into four what they called sub-legions. The men of the third sub-legion, our yellow pipes friends, were stationed here in the Southwest Territory, the precursor to the state of Tennessee. And it was a detachment of 18 soldiers from them that were stationed here at the Teleco Blockhouse in 1794. The idea of the Legion system was each sub-legion would have its own complements of dragoons, of infantry, who were cross-trained both in European-style warfare, which you see here on the drill field, and shaking out into skirmish order, kneeling, hiding behind trees, acting as light infantry to fight against an irregular force such as Native Americans. You also had riflemen who would add with this. So they were light infantry troops armed with U.S. contract Pennsylvania long rifles for long range accuracy. Then you had a group of artillery. In other words, each sub-legion was a self-sufficient unit that had everything you need to fight against any enemy they might combat. Whether that be a Native American tribe fighting irregularly in the woods, or if the British decided to invade from Canada tomorrow, we could fight them in the open fields. So that being said, if y'all are ready, we're going to form up.